This is how I can tie it. God love her. The age of 84. And the husband Johnny hung a black cloth at the handle of the front door and left it open so that those that knew her could come in and pay their respects and all. Uh, oh, there was a great crowd that came to the house that evening to see what age she was and to see was she sick or did she die of a sudden? And was she sick, Johnny? Johnny said she wasn't sick, she was in great form and she had an egg for the breakfast that morning, something she hadn't done in a long while. And what time did she die at? Johnny said she died. Sometime after she ate the egg. Ah, uh, so that's the way it goes, what? And what age was she? 84. 84? <laughs> sure, 84 was a great age to be living at. Johnny said it was a great age to be living at. But not much good of an age to be dying at. The whole women of the country brought sandwiches. And some brought tins of biscuits. And then they were close to God brought buns that they'd made the day before. Must have had inside information, what? Huh? Some called in on their way to bingo. Some called in on their way to the pub and stayed. Francie Bowen, who had been in the town all day drinking, called in on his way home and ate a plate of cheese sandwiches. Now, it's where he hadn't ate a bit in a week. Mrs. Frigid, who isn't Irish, said it was a great party and lost the run of herself. She said she'll not eat another egg in a hurry and laughed like an Egypt. The priest, who had been there all day, shook hands with Johnny and went home. And the senator called in and shook hands with everybody and went to a meeting. He said he had to go. He left the car running. Some gave lots of words of sympathy and were good at it. Some did a lot of hugging and kissing and whispering into Johnny's ear trying to make him cry. Some said nothing at all. When the rosary was said that night, Johnny looked sad but he didn't cry. And the ones that were crying, Sean, they'd be the ones that'd be crying anyway. Mrs. Howell, was 84, she died of a sudden.